The fillet and chamfer tools in AutoCAD can be used to edit the edges of an object in your drawing. You can select the fillet tool from the modify panel above. Once done, right click on the worksheet and select the radius option. You can enter the value manually or sketch out a line to measure the radius you want to keep. Press enter and then define the two corners of the line where you wish to add a curve. Once done, the line bends according to your specified radius. If you select the fillet option, right click and press the trim option. You can trim a linear line into a curved one according to the radius you had specified. Polylines can also be converted and curved by selecting the polyline option. All you have to do is select the radius and simply click on the object. By selecting the multiple option, you can keep this tool selected even if you apply it once on any object. This way, you can use this tool multiple times in one go. The other tool we're going to look at is the chamfer tool. This allows you to cut off or chamfer your edges according to the specified measurements. Open up the drop down menu in the modify panel and pick up the tool. Let's use this on a separate rectangle. When you right click after selecting this tool and choose the distance option, you can specify the length at which you want to chamfer at both edges. With that done, simply define two points within the object and that's it. Notice how the cutoff distance from both lines is the same as the distance entered. The chamfering in between linear lines can also be specified along with a given angle. This tool also provides you with a variety of options that you can access by right clicking and choosing from the menu that appears. The polyline option chamfers a given polyline. For this, first enter the distance and then select the polyline option. With that done, simply click on the object. Over here, the trim and multiple option also serve the same purpose as in the fillet tool, except that over here, the tool chamfers the edges rather than curving them.